I'm Sam from Sheridan Computers. Uh, previously I did a video on the password manager Bitwarden, specifically with regards to self-hosting it. We went through and we got the system up and running, all installed, configured, and that's all fine. So it's all well and good having the system up and running, but there is a little bit of maintenance that you're going to need to do on it. Uh, keeping the operating system up to date and keeping Bitwarden up to date itself and installing any new releases that are available. So I'm going to go ahead in this video and do that. Before we do, if you'd like to hire us, head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk and click on the Hire Us button, fill out the form, leave some details on what you're looking for and we'll see if we can help you and get back to you. If you do have any questions, please uh, don't ask them on YouTube. Head over to our forums at forums.sheridan.co.uk and ask your questions there. It does help keep the channel a little bit clear. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, hit the like button, consider subscribing to the channel and if you hit the notifications icon, you will receive notifications of any new videos as and when they are released. Um, with that out of the way, let's head over and get the system updated. So I'm SSH'd in, um, as we can see here. So it's running on CentOS from the video that I did. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is to make sure that the base operating system is up to date. Uh, if you're using a self-hosted version of Bitwarden, then you should be familiar with uh, Linux. But I'll walk through how to update the system. So this is CentOS, so let's go ahead and uh, do a quick update. So, sudo yum update. So, as you can see, we have some new packages to install and system updates. So, let's go ahead and do them. Okay, so that's the um, base operating system, CentOS updated. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give it a quick reboot. Okay, so we rebooted and we're um, logged back in. So it's always a good idea to back your system up before doing any updates or anything. Um, it's easy for me because I'm using XCPNG, so I can go ahead and um, just create a snapshot before we do that. Um, if you do need any help, if you head over to um, bitwarden.com forward slash help forward slash hosting, then we've got the on-premise hosting stuff here. Um, how to back up your data, change your application environment, installing and deploying, uh, licensing features, uh, and the information is here on how to update a self-hosted installation. Um, so we've got the Bitwarden script and it's just update self and then update. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Move that out of the way. So in our home directory, we also have the uh, BW data folder. So this is external to the Docker image um, that, you, that Bitwarden uses. So if you do need to back up, you can back this up by any means necessary, um, SSH, rsync, whatever. Um, let's have a look at this. So first you need to update self. So we'll do bitwarden.sh uh, update self. So it's updated. So. Now that updates the actual installation script, and now we go ahead and do update. And it'll run through and do the update for us. I've done this a few times, and I, uh, I've done it about three or four times, and I've never had an issue where it's failed. But it, it is always a good idea to do a backup before you do this. So because the data is hosted externally to Docker, it'll pretty much go through and destroy the installation and then um, pull it back up again. And your data is safe because it's external. So now you can see we're downloading the latest versions. So after it's pulled the data, it's um, extracting it. So you can see the current version um, as of the uh, 29th of August is 1.36.1. This does it take a few minutes. It's not a particular long process depending on your internet connection because it has to pull the data down. Um, so that's finished. It's migrated the database. Um, database update complete. 
So um, I prefer to do the update processes manually, uh, as it says over here. Tip, you can create a cron job or schedule tasks to run the update commands weekly or even nightly. This will keep your installation automatically up to date. I say I do prefer to do them um, manually. So that's done, so now we should be able to log into Bitwarden. And as you can see, Bitwarden is up and running again. So as I previously mentioned, the videos that I do are pretty much based on things that I am doing at the time. And it just so happens at this particular time, I was doing a Bitwarden update. So I figured I'd make the video of it and show you how to do it. It um, is pretty straightforward. There's plenty of help on Bitwarden's website. So I do hope this helps. Um, like I said at the beginning, if you do like this video, hit the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications icon. You'll receive notifications of any new videos as and when they are released. And if you'd like to hire us, head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk and fill out the form and we'll get back to you. Thank you.